hello and welcome to the channel how are you doing i hope you are doing good today we are discussing as you can see on the topic right here something really really interesting i would say based on developing stories about the death of osinachi Mwachuku, famously known for her song ekweme amongst others what it means is more of like when a great man falls or when a great person falls he attracts public attention. Now, the sister to Osinachi released this particular post on her Facebook page, and this is what she had to say By God's grace, I was in our beloved sister's house this evening again, and I'm glad that. He was actually arrested by the police. But what baffles me is the way and manner he has polluted the children's mind. I had a chat with the firstborn and I almost started crying. The boy told me the ordeal his mom has been going through with his dad. How he beat her up in any little argument. He said, Auntie, my dad pushed my mom out of the car at night after Wednesday service and bad boy snatched my mom's back that night. How mom got home that night, I can't tell because dad left her. People dashed my mom two cars, pointed at them for me to see the boy. But dad at times would say mom should take bike while we go in the car. Even when we are coming back from church, my mom will stand under the sun and we will drive and pass her and we will wave at her. My dad told us that beating women is good. I had to cut in the conversation and told him it's very wrong to beat a woman and that God is against it and I really talked sense into him. He said they are happy that their dad was arrested because he used to beat them up too. The second born sang for us too. He has a golden voice like the mom. The first said my mom always kept quiet for my daddy and she always forgive and now she has died. And I told him not to worry as his mom is in heaven. May the soul of our beloved sister rest in peace and may God take care of her four kids she left behind. Amen. Now my people say, What that means is that the tortoise believes that the problem is his. That is why he carries his problem along wherever he's going. No one understands the burden that Tortoise goes through as he carries his burden behind him than the Tortoise himself. But the Tortoise decides that this burden is mine to carry and I carry it alone. Now, why am I saying this? What this particular adage means is that one should try and shoulder his or her own problems. But it depends on how you decide to shoulder your own problem that defines if you are able to live through with it. Sometimes you share your burdens with people and sometimes you get to live through your burdens as you share it with someone who maybe might even get to help you. Of course, you can't see two people carrying the burden of a tortoise. It would look weird, right? As you could see based on this particular post by the sister, indeed carried her burdens herself. Now, there have been rumors here that, okay, the pastor knew, her pastor knew, her pastor didn't know, she was secretive about it. Of course, a couple of friends knew, we have looked at that in previous videos. But what actually struck out here is, if it is true, we were not there, whether you like it or not, you and I were not there. The child saying that the father told them that beating a woman is good. Sometimes men do this. There are families, if you're watching me right now, maybe you have experienced that in your family. Your parents may not really tell you that categorically, yes, that, okay, this is it. But you seeing this exemplified has some psychological trauma it has in your mind that when you grow up, you might see yourself doing the same thing because you have perceived it to be normal that, oh, come on, dad is doing this. And if mom is cooperating because dad is doing this, maybe tomorrow when I get married, if my wife should do fear one, then, whew, but in the end, there is it is wrong in itself. So imagine these children themselves growing up under this and eventually even get to lose their mother. Let me tell you for a fact, like I just said, 
Dike Dalana and Izuya. The fact is that had it been what has happened to Sinachi didn't happen, we will not be seeing all these stories right now. She will still carry that burden on her back herself alone and then be going through it. Because of course, like you have seen many posts online said about this particular issue, had it been she left the marriage. Now, there's this whole debate about divorce, 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 okay? When it comes to situations like this, of course, you should run for your life, okay? That is okay. Because... Looking at it right now, had it been she divorced or left the marriage, even if without officially divorcing him, but you know, living elsewhere outside the house, because of course her church believes that divorce is in itself not scriptural. That basis for divorcing based on scriptures, which does not, you know, agree with this particular concept of if you are being beaten. But of course, if you look at a couple of other things and get to just post things here and there, if you are living because we have the progressive Christians as well. So this, this down goes to a different facet. But in this particular case, whereby you are going through domestic abuse, come on. Even if you are not divorcing categorically, you can, for the sake of your own life, leave. Because the reason why I'm saying this right now is that it has been said, like many people have said online, that had it been she left the marriage, it would, it would affect her career. Come on, she being giving two cars, you could imagine other things she receives as gifts. And her husband is the manager of this woman. Now, after the last video, I said that the husband was a deacon. People said, no, he's not a deacon anywhere. So, I, I think I stand to be corrected there, except maybe some people are just trying to cover up things here and there. But the fact remains that this woman was going through a lot in her marriage that she couldn't leave because her leaving would jeopardize her career as a singer. And even that to even make the news more than what she's even going through herself. Because, just imagine... If she left the marriage and she is known to be someone that sings amazingly well like this and has an amazing talent, you understand? And guess because whether you like it or not, maybe this was just her only source of livelihood when it comes to singing. And for a fact, when once you invite all these ministers that have like the big names, the popular ones to your church to sing, it is not free. They get paid. So let's say this is just her career and source of livelihood. So maybe she has put her career before what she is going through knowing that if i leave this marriage right now it's gonna affect my career and what if this my career i'm doing right now is what sustains my family or sustains my children so she knows how the burden she's carrying in her back hurts we can come on social media and say whatever we want to say but has her being in the relationship she understands better why she actually stayed and endured in long suffering going through all of these things I don't know if you understand. Now, in the next video, I'm going to be looking at a couple of one other news that has come out about the husband being married before. But looking at this particular story in this case right now concerning the kids, I don't think any kid deserves to be raised in this kind of environment because had it been right now, it was a good thing that the sister herself went there to, you know, still talk with the kids and know what's up. From my last video, the lawyer of Dunamis was saying that they are still waiting to brief Oga of what happened maybe that is why he has not really spoken emphatically categorically about this but had made a post of what what he said before about you know if you are in an abusive marriage you understand so maybe your guy we are still waiting for you to be brief so we know what you have to say but of course like i said i still stand by what i said that you coming back to nigeria and your first sunday was so insensitive about the situation so i'm assuming you don't know but if you don't know on your or you are yet to be brief let's assume that your daughter that has made a post about this on instagram and wrote a long essay uh, did she also wait to be brief before she wrote what she wrote of course somewhere in that particular essay she's more of like you know they're not aware of that particular situation of her being under abuse how true that is i don't know you understand but this woman herself was in a she late knew exactly what she was going through and this story is coming out right now people will say it's medicine after that but the fact still remains that maybe this could also be an example for families out there themselves to learn and if you're a husband stop beating your wife if you were a wife please stop beating your husband as well because that it could happen both ways okay but i think women themselves go through these things like this a lot than um the men all right so um children younger people like me if you have grown up in this particular state 
and family where you have seen your father beat your mother mercilessly. It doesn't mean that when you get into marriage that it is okay for you to hit your wife. And if you are in a relationship, maybe you see these signs because what happens in marriage is an amplification of what happens in the dating space. So even in the dating space, you get to see some things, some signs. And whatever you see as signs when you are dating, some people can pretend as well, it's okay, it happens. But just know the things you see in your dating phase or courtship phase because whatever happens at that time only amplifies when you become unionized. That is now going to lead us to the second part of this video where we talk about the news that the husband had been married before. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Hallelujah!